Hello, I'm Sam Figarelli, and today I'm going to be showing you a small Arduino project I put together using an infrared range sensor. Now I have four things here, an Arduino Uno microcontroller, a breadboard, an infrared range sensor, and a servo. And uh, even though it may look a little confusing, uh, how it's connected is extremely simple. Uh, we have one line here on a breadboard uh, dedicated to the 5 volts, connected to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino board. And that's connected to both the servo and the um, rain sensor through these red wires. Now we have another line over here uh, for the ground, and these are connected uh, with blue wires. And again, that's connected to the ground pin on the Arduino board to both the infrared rain sensor and the servo. Uh, now, finally, we have this yellow wire from. Uh, the rain sensor connects to a line on the breadboard here and that's connected to the zero analog pin on the Arduino board. And that's going to be sending uh, distance uh, measurement signal from the rain sensor to the Arduino board. Then we have this white wire connected from this uh, servo to a line on the breadboard which is then connected to the ninth pin on the Arduino board. Uh, and how I have this set up is, it's uh, this rain, uh, rain sensor picks up the signal, measures the distance, sends a number to the Arduino board, and then I have that number mapped to another variable to position the servo in uh, the corresponding place. And uh, I'll just show you that now. Let me just plug it in. Okay, servo's kind of spinning a little bit there. But, as I said before, as uh, the range sensor, the distance between the range sensor and object gets further away, the servo uh, spins in one direction. When uh, a, an object gets even closer, then it turns in the other direction. As you can see, if I move it up, it turns in one, down, up, down. So it's mapping the distance to the servo and uh, turning it into the corresponding uh, position. Uh, if you'd like to see the code I used for this project, I'll post it on my blog, which I'll link to in the description. And uh, thanks for watching.